Okay, happy garage. Let's do a thing. On the, uh, staying with the subject of quick little things you can do. One of these. What is this? Well, I'll show you. This is a, uh, a small part that makes a big difference. So, I'll put that there so I can press buttons. All right, the battery's still alive. That's good. I do have more parts for the little sub $3,000 car. I'll give a walk around in a minute. And yes, I bought a, uh, a help part. A not OEM part, so hopefully it fits. We're about to find out. They're cheap enough. This is a little pedal pad. A little brake pedal pad or, or clutch pedal pad. As you can see, these ones are worn out. You wouldn't think such an inexpensive piece would make a large difference, but if you can't grip the pedals... Well, that's just not safe. So, let's see if we can replace it. Now, I, I am seeing that uh, the original ones are a different shape. And I ordered this from, uh, from the, the website uh, Block, Block Auto. You know who. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to pause for a minute and put that down. There we go. It's open. Like magic. So, these pedal pads, they wear out over time. If you got your old car with, with worn out pedal pads and you're thinking your car is completely worn out, these can make a, a big difference. Just the grip you have on your pedals. I don't think my new pad is going to fit quite right, but you can see, it's just got a, it just kind of folds over the, the metal part of the pedal, and just fold it over there. So I am, from the looks of it, going to have to break down find the Hyundai part because this is not going to fit uh, not with one hand anyway let me get two hands and see if I can get that at least to fold over alright I did get it to to flip over the pedal it just don't fit quite right but you can see how easy it is just to replace these and it will make a big difference in uh you know even if you don't have three pedals you just got the two the pads wear out see where's that on the corner and your feet start to slip off pedals it's not a not a good thing these are cheap enough um, the aftermarket ones you can buy them online for less than 10 bucks I'm gonna say but if you have an odd shaped pedal, uh, maybe just go with the OEM so you know it's going to fit. I haven't looked at the OEM prices, but even if they're $10 a pop, $20 a pop, a, uh, a nice little improvement, uh, both in appearance and safety, so your feet don't slip off the pedals. Oops. Let's do a walk around the car, though. You haven't seen the sub three thousand dollar car. It's a, uh, it's just a, a cheap first car. I I bought this. I bought the the scratch and dent unit from a popular uh, stereo retailer online. We all knew who know who they are because uh, they've been around for like forty years. It starts up just fine. Should. No drama, no noise, so very nice. 
AC gets cold. I still have a flashing tire light, so I'll probably go into fixing that a little bit so at least you can get an idea. And yep, got 184,000 miles ish. Let's go take a walk around the outside. And this, oh, let's zoom out. That's even better. So there we go. It gets, it's got the, the little shades so you can have your window cracked open if you like. I mean, for less than $3,000, yeah, it's a little naughty on the back. Got some some dents and dings, some uh, some body work. Looks like somebody painted it in uh, on the beach. They had a good time painting on the beach, I am sure. But overall, nope, I haven't registered the car yet. Overall, not bad. A few dents and dings. As I said, it's going to be a first car. Tinted windows. Are they legal? I don't know. We'll deal with that if it ever comes up. Got a different color bumper, so we know it's a new bumper. Little ding in the hood. Nothing major. The thing is, it's already dented, right? You get you, you get a first uh, a first car for somebody uh, that's not already dented. It's really going to hurt your feelings if they dent it. Um, so if this one gets dented again, it's it's not going to hurt my feelings too bad, uh, especially for less than three thousand. And I'm estimating by the time I uh, uh, make all the fixes, uh, even with the new radio, I'm probably going to be less than 4000 still. So a good buy. You can still find these cars. They still exist. Uh, you just, you gotta, you gotta have, have the time to, to look around. But anyway, that's uh, that's what I have is installing the pedal pad, a good, a good safety measure, and it will make your car appear just a little bit better. So, happy garaging, everyone.